All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome to the Palatial KSYM Studios old friend Guy Forsyth and a, and a new friend, his partner on and off stage, Jessica Bailey. They got a brand new record called Conspirators, and uh, they'll be working, celebrating the release of this Saturday, Sam's Burger Joint. Is that right? Do I have that right? That so, is correct. 330 East Grayson Street, and, uh, and uh, Guy and, and Jessica are going to be opening the show, and then... Doing the show. And then doing the show. So there you go. <laughs> so that, that, that's We're it. opening it ac- acoustically, just just Guy and myself, and then we'll have the whole band for the for uh, the for the duration of the show. Excellent. And I'm guessing doors open about eight eight o'clock and downbeat. Do you have any idea? I think downbeat is eight o'clock for that. Oh, is that, that, oh, is that early? I, show? I don't know. Sure. We, we've been well, in we the should, car for a month. I'm, sorry, I'm not I, sure. I, what's I, going I on. Should, question. And we will. I, I should. We'll, we'll get a crew on it. I can look that up later. I thought we'll let you know that it's a. Just, you know, or you can do that. Go to Sam's Burger Joint website. And uh, so anyway, yeah, you have, and, and I really appreciate the effort, although I question your sanity for, you know, what do you, you drove in from points unknown at 5 a.m. this morning and you, you. Yeah, we, we you, drove you a thousand up. miles yesterday. I think it's more than uh, that. It's a little, a little bit more um, uh, from Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, we played in Louisville the night before. And so, uh. Uh, that's what you do when you're, you know, I'm, uh, we wanted to be hand here. delivering music. <laughs> well, there you go. It's all about, you know, it has to be fresh because, you know, like it, it spoils fast. And so you got to move it around really now, quickly. And, you know, a lot of artists wouldn't do that for you. You know, a lot, a lot of artists. Because they die. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Of course they don't. Or because they, they may not. have a modicum of sense. But that, you know, I don't. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, to pick whichever one you they want. They realize that, you know, maybe getting that job at the 7-Eleven was actually a <laughs> better option after all maybe your mom was right something to fall back on (laughs) yeah like drinking or something like that you know it's too late for you now you're both lifers i'm sure now that's right now y'all really have like a fairy tale meeting right tell tell us how i mean we like to think so tell us (laughs) tell us how you met it's all how you spin it really um i owned i actually owned a a, a blues club i I jointly owned a blues venue in san angelo texas called sealy flats and i put out into the interwebs asking who they would like to come and play and a lot of people wanted to have guy come out i had never heard of guy forsyth before so i i looked him up and hired him to come out and he's amazing as you well know and we were really good friends for about three or four years and then he invited me to antone's Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, and, and uh, it turns out that both of us have uh, little girls, and, and so uh, when we got together, we took the, the girls to um, Fiesta, Texas, here in town, uh-huh. and, uh, um, That's and the at kids one met. point, my, my <laughs> daughter turned to me and said, you have to make this happen. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the, she the, did. The, she wanted Bella Jane to be her sister. So she was like, you need to figure this out, Dad. So, yeah, you need to figure this out. <laughs> and so you did, and the rest is history. And I yeah. Said, yeah, well, marriages have been built on less. You know, that's, a, that, that's <laughs> for sure. You know, great romances. Uh, that, well, that, you know, that is. That's a... It's a touching story. It's going to be good for the body. Yeah, we're you second know, just, timers. You know, like it's. Uh, We've done it, it the wrong way. It, now we're ready to uh-huh. uh, do it the right way. There's a you know because most most of uh, what we will call rock and roll, just for lack of a more encompassing term, is really young music, and it's uh, and it really is about youthful verve and excess, mm-hmm. and uh, and because you know we. It, it's a blast when you're doing it, and it's also a blast to think about when you were doing it. So we're constantly um, uh, called back to it. Now, uh, also, when you fall in love when, you, when you're young, things are, are brand new, and it's innocent, and it's huge, and, and, and it's, it's epic. And later on in life, the requirements to love deeply change because it stops being something you just throw your, that, that sweeps you away, and you have to love bravely because you know what you're getting into you know what you're risking Mm -hmm. you know i think that that's one of the things one of the themes i think about this record all right that's that's (laughs) we're really lucky really there's nothing else say we'll see y'all later drive careful (laughs) on the way home (laughs) (laughs) all right 
Well, how about doing a song for us? All right, we're going to warm up. This will be our first song of the day, so it's very exciting. We don't know exactly what could happen. could be a, a huge blowout. This is a, an arrangement of a, a traditional tune that I first heard from the uh, um, Blind Boys Alabama. <laughs> Forsyth, Jessica Bailey, <laughs> and that's that's after driving a 
thousand miles and being sleep deprived you know probably like saturday at sam's they'll probably get serious and really say you know they <laughs> probably won't half step like they did man that was a uh, the you, gloves it, and <laughs> off. Uh, that's, a, that's a wonderful arrangement of that song too that's a that to play it's a, a across uh, yeah that's right to, to play it across the house of rising sun changes First time I heard Blind Boys do that on a record, like, wow, okay, yeah, that that works. Now tell me, the the two of you being together, uh, on stage and off stage in real life. Now, how do you? Is there? Do you ever try to strike? Think that you got to try to strike some balance between the professional and the domestic, or is it all we just mesh together? Always working, really diligently, to be respectful of each other in every aspect of our life (laughs) because we're together all Mm -hmm. the time. Um, At home, there's lots of announcements like, I'm feeling passive aggressive, I'm going upstairs. (laughs) (laughs) We just lay it out there and we try to proceed. What what, what we try to do is we try to always treat each other like we would treat a really good friend. Uh-huh. Well, that's good. That's always a, that's good advice for uh, any relationship. So that's good. Yeah. Now talk about how you get the how you choose the music to do. Is it is it a fifty fifty thing, or does one of you come up with an idea and the other one have to make it happen, or how, how do you? All of that, yes. Yeah, I, I'd say all of it. Um, uh, there's um, one of the fun things is that we're always tinkering and uh on the way down we were listening to yodelers and uh oh and, yes and just you've not had about... fun until you've heard us people trying to learn to yodel not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not beautiful it, and it would be best to do that in a car with just the two of oh, yeah, that's, you see, that's a good we're idea that's don a... are coming down <laughs> yeah just, you know because you know why not beat yourself over the head with it <laughs> that's right um, uh, um but you know like that that and uh, it's when you say how you pick the music i guess the 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 thing is that you go where you are attracted where where there is something for you and for me start going back a long time i was really interested in early american guitar players and singer songwriters the what we call bluesmen and stuff like that folks like Robert Johnson or Jimmy Rogers and and just the sort of things that they were doing it not just in terms of the instruments they played and how they approached it but also the type of stories that they were telling and and, in where they were coming from now all of that is of course is going to be through our lens of our own experiences because you know it's got to matter to you it's it it, it can't it's not a museum piece it's it's uh you know like the only reason to play it is because it because you feel it right and it's a living breathing if you do it right yeah and it's old technology this is something that that humans have been doing for as long as we've been keeping any sort of record and it's not the you know it's not this isn't a a business decision it's just what your calling is You know, because there's things we could do which would involve a lot less driving. We sing, we sing, <laughs> we sing songs that make us feel something, and we hope that in us feeling something when we sing it, that we can give that to the audience. That's that's what our our hope is: is that we can share what it is that we're feeling with the people that are listening. Right. Now, when when you set out to do conspirators, uh, <laughs> did, did did you? say okay was there any thought well this song would be better served as a guy forsyth blues band song or no. is like these these songs are definitely uh duo songs this is an interesting project because we started it as a demo yeah we just wanted to record some of us singing together because um because we really enjoy it and and it's it's fun and we started to do some and we're like well Let's go into uh, Six String Studios with our friend Matt Smith, who's, who's a awesome. great friend Plug and a great you, engineer and a great producer. And his type of production in this case mainly is to is to set up mics and suggest, you know, like here try you know try this microphone, this uh, um, this sound for this for this song because he's got really great studio chops. Mm. And and then we were just playing the songs and in a pretty unadorned way, uh, not. Uh, not produced in any sort of way, just the sound of an acoustic guitar, maybe the tapping of a foot. On one of the songs, we ended up bringing in... Warren Hood. Warren Hood, yes. our, our friend who's one of the best fiddle players so that amazing. I know that I've ever met. And so, 
that he's the only only other sound on the record that didn't come from just us or maybe you know mm -hmm. the, the 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 sound of the instrument in the room all right guy forsyth jessica bailey conspirators the name of the the brand new cd and they'll be working on Saturday at Sam's Burger Joint, 330 East Grayson Street. Now it says doors open at 8, downbeat at 9 p.m. And uh, Guy and Jessica are going to open uh, with an acoustic set. And then it'll be a Guy Forsyth Blues Band. So now how long, I want to get to another live song real fast, but I actually do have a lot of questions. Some sure. of them might even <laughs> make sense. Now, how long before, before y'all, or after you met, did you know that your voices would, would work together? Um, uh, well, Jess was already a singer, um, and I'd already heard her sing okay. um, before we ever uh, performed together. And and I just knew she had a, a, a really remarkable instrument. She's just uh, um, super strong, super pure tonality in her singing, and, and I thought, well, this is really great. Um, it took us a little while to start performing together. It was really important for me to be very respectful of all the hard work that Guy has put into his own career. And so just really slowly, very slowly started to do a little bit together because man, if I'm not the luckiest girl in the whole world that I, I get to come and move to Austin and, and then just be submerged in this beautiful culture of music and all of this hard work that he has put in for 30 years. And, and did, did, did you ever have some like thought in your mind, well, I don't want to be, I got to be careful not to Yoko him or something? Is well, that? I'm not Yoko-y. <laughs> that, I'm not yoko -y, so <laughs> yeah, I think we're safe. Um, <laughs> I always, my, my, my main priority is always to make sure that I lift Guy up in, in everything that I do. I, I am very aware of all the hard work that he has put into this career, and I realize oh, that I'm so lucky. It's been a snap. He hadn't done anything until he met you. <laughs> no, but really, I just want to make sure that that, that all the hard work that that you guy that I'm, I'm making sure to always push that forward right. and make sure that he's getting all of the recognition that he needs because i'm i'm doing stuff but man if he hasn't tread the way for both of us well, that's a good good way to but you know another way to keep a relationship together now do you have your own band too jessica i have the beginnings of a band i'm working with some people that i actually went to high school with in San Angelo that now are musicians in Austin, Oscar Ornelas and uh, Jonathan Matthews and and Guy and Brennan Lane. And we've had one rehearsal. <laughs> and so maybe in 2020, maybe. Oh. And it's Jessica Bailey and the significant others. All right, there yes. you go. All right, but let's, let's listen to Guy Forsyth and Jessica Bailey do something else together. All right. All right. <laughs> Nobody gonna bail me out. 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 Made my call. I made my bed. Nowhere but rocks to lay my head. Nobody gonna bail me out. 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 I got no money. Expensive friends. Trouble come well. Let it in. Nobody gonna bail me out. 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 Coming to make this right. Nobody cares about this fight. Nobody gonna bail me out. 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 Nobody left. Carry on.
Don't put it, it gon' bail me out Just not worth saving Since I can bend Yes, I do There you go. Guy Forsyth, Jessica Bailey. And uh, the album is Conspirators. They'll be working Saturday night at Sam's Burger Joint, opening for Guy Forsyth Blues Band. I guess it, it's just one one show, you know. It's, all right. We'll be back on the other side. I'm going to play something off the record. i got to take care of a little business for you right here. <laughs> Uh, from the Conspirators album, Guy Forsyth and Jessica Bailey, and it's uh, my good fortune and yours to be able to have Jessica Bailey and Guy Forsyth live on KSYM. And uh, they'll be working Sam's Burger Joint on Sunday. The whole, uh, the whole McClue, as uh, Captain Gus used to say, uh, Jessica and Guy would do a, a acoustic set, and, and then the Guy Forsyth Blues Band takes over. And uh, Conspirators, the... Uh, the brand new record and it's a really uh, I, I like the way you did this record with uh, there's some notes in there that, that talk about the songs mm -hmm. and, and explain the instrumentation and all for the guitar freaks out there and by the way uh, uh, liner guy, guy is idea. yeah real liner notes the guy is playing a national uh, rezo rocket and it's uh, the wooden body uh, uh, Reso rocket as opposed to the 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 whole or the, yeah, 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 yeah or, 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 or and, and it's the wood things. body and it, as opposed to the steel body uh, Reso rocket. Just to let you know. And uh, what kind of man? I mean, what kind of a ukulele were you playing? It's a concert. Ohana. An Ohana. It was my ukulele. wedding gift. Oh I man, I tell you, <laughs> man, this is just like, you know. <laughs> This is like a Kim and Kanye in here. It's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, they got something to sell too. Man. So, do you have something you want to do? No, no, but first, tell oh, us. Like, uh, we'll, we'll take a. We'll we'll take all the air you we'll want. Keep to keep doing no, this until you uh, kick us out. Really. Like, you know, I'm, I'm like I'm concerned about you. It's like oh, they haven't had any sleep. We're and fine. You gave oh, us some know, water. We're they, good to go. They know what they're doing. They know what they're getting into. So uh, tell us how people can find out more about you. What's the social media? Sure. You can find Guy Forsyth Band on all social media outlets. There's Twitter, Facebook. Uh, you're on Reverb Nation, on Instagram. Reverb. And I love it when people post stuff on there. And, and you can find <laughs> events and updates um, in his story on Facebook and on Instagram. There's some uh, fun little snippets that we'll put that's kind of more behind the scenes stuff for super fans and just kind of working that out all right so yeah you can you can spend a lot of time at guyforsyth.com you can the guy forsyth band right mm -hmm. guyforsythband.com well there's guyforsyth.com and then there's we guy Forsyth band on uh forsyth band on facebook and so there's a there's a, if you do a search well we will pop right yeah you'll pop right in the be there's uh, uh uh, and also on Twitter, you're you're pretty active on Twitter. Uh -huh. <laughs> we retweet each other. Yes. Tweeting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, something that's exciting that's coming up is Guy is going to be releasing his first music video, and so that is that's something that we're both really excited and looking forward to. That's going to be happening uh, the very first of this next month, so August first, uh -huh. and it's going to be over this song, which is Concrete, that he not so long ago wrote. Yeah, that's right. This is a, a pretty recent one, which is on the record. All right. All right. I want to go look at the stars But the light's too bright To see them where we are just a mile away and those lamps burn all night long The light of a distant sun would never be that strong 
sodium vapor gives off an awful glare You'd never even know the stars were there No, you'd never even know the stars were there I want to go swim in the sea But the red tide is blooming That's not good for folks like me Fertilizer runs off of the golf courses and lawns Algae reproduces till the oxygen is gone Fish die by the millions and they pile up on the beach So now the ocean's out of reach So now the ocean's out of reach Maybe there'll be silence in the rain When my time is over and they file me away Thing I've ever known Spend the day stoop to scrape a dime up off the street No matter what I do Can't get my roots through this concrete All this hard traveling To wind up where I'm at So much toil To make the rich man fat So much toil To make the rich man fat But the light's too bright outside this bar But I can still remember where they are KSYM San Antonio <coughs> Beautiful song Guy Forsyth, Jessica Bailey The album is Conspirators Brand new, Been just been out few days i think yes you can buy it online at www.guyforsyth.com all, right. all proceeds go directly to the artist if you buy it from the website that's right and this is a uh, guy's uh, uh, uh own label small and nimble small and nimble and records uh, and there will be uh because i found that i could lose my money as effectively as anyone in the business that's right and, and if you lose it you know you know who to you know you don't have to have a lawsuit yes <laughs> if it doesn't get done i know who to blame and, and they're going to be working saturday at uh sam's burger joint 330 east grayson street it's going to be a uh, guy forsyth and jessica bailey followed by the guy forsyth blues band who's going to be playing who's in the band for this gig we so, have we have uh, um, uh, Naj Conklin playing bass, mm -hmm. and Jeffrey Botta playing drums, and Nevada Newman playing guitar. All right, so there you go. Yeah, that, that'll be fun. And talk, talk about one more. Uh, uh, talk about balancing originals uh, with with covers that move you. Mm -hmm. do, do you. Do you get to a point where you say, uh, "Okay, well, I, I need to I need to write a song now. I need to do this," or but it's time that you know. How, how do you work that? Do you strive for balance, or do you just let it roll? Well, it's always great to write songs, and <clears throat> I participate in some songwriting groups where we. Uh, where we uh, uh, prompt each other to write songs and we try to do a song a week mm. and uh, um, and that's useful because for as an artist I do really well having a deadline and having you know a, a specific purpose or cause and when left to infinite devices it's hard to narrow it down in fact it's the limitations that seem to make things interesting um, when I was coming up as a as a singer songwriter writing songs was absolutely the king of the business because having publishing and having something to sell was the most important thing to legitimize legitimize your 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 work mm -hmm. in in music was to make new music but the reason why I got into playing music was because I was a fan because I loved the songs and and I was attracted to songs and when I was young I remember when I first knew all the lyrics to songs and I could 
sit in a stairwell and sing them. And for me, that was, it was just, that was a valuable thing, like learning a poem, lear learning a song, something that you could share with someone, stories that you could continue. Uh, I think that before I was coming up in, 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 in the 90s, there were, uh, in, the, in the 80s and, and 70s, there was a lot more cross-pollination of songwriters where people would sing other people's songs. Um, because you like the song, just because you collected them, and, and uh, part of the tradition is being a songster, mm -hmm. is taking things and bringing them, and 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 having the right song for the right situation. Mm -hmm. That I think is 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 something that's always attracted me, and and I thought always always been really important, because songs are a type of magic. Um, music is a tool for transcendence. It can get you through the worst times if you have the right word in your ear, or the right melody at a time, it can make you resilient in a way that other things don't. All religions surround themselves in music because they know it works. Mm. Um, so I think that it's, it's just, it's a great thing to be a part of that. In, in, in this album, we do some covers that you might never have encountered somewhere else because, it's, because they're great songs, that they feel good to sing. It's energetically, I think that it's important. You know, you're you're spreading something that you want to say. Right. Important to us, right? I know the Mercy Now, uh, that's written by Mary Gauthier, Mary Gauthier, and I have been carrying that song around for two years, singing it as a dedication to my father, Ron, mm -hmm. all over the world now. And it was important to me to have that on the album, even though it's not one that we wrote, but I've adopted it, and mm -hmm. it's part of me now. Well, there are certain songs. I think that, that strike people in certain ways at certain points of their life. And, and if you're fortunate enough to be a musician, to have a voice, then you can incorporate that into, you know, as you said, there, there, there's a, uh, songs should mean more than just a beat. You know, or, or but but there's there's nothing unimportant about the beat either. At the same time, <laughs> I like to think, you know? I, I like to think of it yeah. is there's two different ways in through the head yeah, right. and through the body through the hiney. <laughs> right, through the hiney. That way, you know, one way it's like you're either coming from the sh the the chakras down right. or you're coming from the chakras up, <laughs> that's and true. that's storytelling, right. which is in through the head and into the heart right. um, and into the rest of the body and then there's the late night voodoo drums sex ritual right. Right. which is you know <laughs> you know, reproduced around the world in a million different right. ways and has been yeah. for, for how long yeah you know? well yeah. people keep having kids that, that's, exact, keep working. that's exactly right <laughs> and it ain't all during the blackout when there's no music <laughs> that's it why do you think we all go out in public anyway? Yeah. <laughs> or when we were a certain age, we did. When we were 25. You know. I asked a guy one time. It was a biographer of, uh, of uh, one, one of the big bands. Uh, oh, the Dorsey Brothers. It was a biography of the Dorsey Brothers. I said, well, how, how old were the Dorsey Brothers? Uh, how, what was the average age of the Dorsey Brothers band at the height of their power? Mm -hmm. He said 25. Wow. I said, what was the average age of their audience? at the height of their power. He said, 25. And I'm thinking you can take 25 to the bank. You know, you could have taken 25 to the bank when the first guy was beating on the first uh, hollow log, you know, <laughs> whatever the equivalent was, 25. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, and then you just gotta keep going and hope that people keep part of that spirit of 25 in their heart and in their loins, uh, so to speak. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, so remember, 25. So, you want to do another one live? You wanna, oh, yeah, definitely. Right, do, how about do but, one more live, yeah. and then we'll play out with something off the record. Well, then then we can let y'all go and get some sleep. Sure. Well, here's one we didn't, um, uh, that isn't on the record. This is a song that Jess and I wrote, and we'll, we're going to produce a version of this coming up with the band. Um, but uh, we'll play it for you in this. I'm like, which one is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Is it who? Yeah. Okay. So uh, it was late one night, and a guy and I were sitting in the backyard, and he was singing me some beautiful love songs. And it was at that point that the thought struck me that none of these songs were written about me. And so I asked him, who is this about? And he said, no one in particular, which of course I totally bought into. But then I said, I have an idea for a song. And I had a, a, a riff in my head, and, and this is who which is the product of that backyard gathering after work. There he 
here goes again With that same old little ditty about her in him Seeing and with his eyes closed says doesn't matter anymore but like a clock it goes around and just like a fool I listen is a give it There you, there you go. Ryan. That's it. <laughs> Guy <Wow>. Forsyth and Jessica <laughs> Bailey. Uh, Conspirators, the new record. And uh, the next gig, and I, I really don't want to do any more radio after this. I just want to go on home and take a nap myself. That was plenty <laughs> of music. Next gig, Saturday at uh, Sam's Burger Joint, 330 East Grayson Street. Guy and Jessica start the night solo or a duo uh, acoustic, and then they'll move along and... Uh, the whole guy Forsyth band. Get all plugged the, up. The, that's Rah. it. That'll be the. Would you say the light late night voodoo sex ritual? That's exactly what we said. That's, yes, right. that's exactly, exactly what we said. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank y'all very much. One more time, uh, social media, GuyForsythBand dot com and GuyForsyth dot com. Is that yep. Guy Forsyth Band on all social media except right. the website is GuyForsyth dot com. com. All right, and it's all. And social you can media. follow me at Guy Forsyth under, uh, Guy underscore Forsyth on Twitter. All right. Man, that's the first time you did that. I'm super proud of you. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm super. Now I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> yeah, I've broken the code. That that, twi- <laughs> that Twitter is a uh, that that's a catapult to fame right there. Uh, I'm t- and he's not a Russian bot. We're oh. pretty sure he's not a Russian. <laughs> I bot. think. Yeah. Very deep uh, cover, comrade. Oh, <laughs> I've got the dad. Daddy's listening queued up. Uh, anything you want to say about this one? Oh, this is a cautionary tale. All right. 
There you go. Yeah. Thank you all very much for coming in. Guy Forsyth. Thanks, Jessica, Jim. Thank Jessica you very Bailey. much for having us in your ear holes. There you go. And thank you, listeners. What you know, he said. We'll, get the, we'll get the gospel set up here probably about 530, something like that. So uh, this was a relig- religious experience anyway. Guy Forsyth, Jessica Bailey from Conspirators. <laughs>